I can't believe this is a thing for a lot of different reasons. So first of all, I have a Mac, right? And ChatGPT is now downloadable on a Mac. The reason I found this out was actually because of the fact that um, it was nearly impossible to use ChatGPT in the web browser, like it kept not even loading for me. And then I'm like, okay, can I even, can I download this maybe? And I can't. And I found it interesting because it's only downloadable on mobile right now. So like your phone and then on Mac specifically. So download for Mac OS, but not for Windows. I know Windows has Copilot and I know Apple is going to add a ChatGPT level of functionality within Apple intelligence, like in a few months. So I guess I was just surprised that they did this but I am happy to showcase to you what necessarily it has because I do think it's a pretty good feature set. So first of all, you download it, it's only like 50 megabytes. You log in, you open it up, and here we got this stuff. So a couple different features to call out. Uh, it does look a little bit different. The GPTs are kind of nestled away in the top left over here. You can add temporary chat right here as well. Uh, you can change between 4.0, 4 mini, four and any other ones. I have obviously ChatGPT plus, so that's why you have these different options. And for the most part, it's pretty much the same except for the UI change and then two other things. One, I can talk to it verbally. So, hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing today? Hey, Dimitri, I'm doing well. Oh no, why, why is asking. It? Okay, uh, I'm curious, do you have any idea as to the updates that the chat GPT desktop version has versus the web version on Mac? As of the latest updates, the main differences between the chat GPT desktop version and the web version on Mac are a few added conveniences and integration features. The desktop app often includes one, enhanced integration. It may offer better integration with system features like keyboard shortcuts, system notifications, and the ability to stay logged in more easily, making it more seamless to access. A more seamless experience. Two, offline capabilities. Offline capabilities, mm. The desktop app might have limited offline capabilities, allowing you to access certain previously viewed content without an internet connection. That's pretty Although good. this is usually quite basic. Three, System level access. System level access. The app can integrate with your Mac's system, like using native macOS features for things like drag and drop, sharing content, or even faster copy paste actions. Four, performance optimizations. Ah, I will say better performance optimizations for sure. run smoother as they don't rely on a browser, which might consume more resources especially when multiple tabs are open. All right, the core Other functionality these, is the same. Pretty pretty good to know. Thanks for chatting with me, ChatGPT. Appreciate it. As you can see, it uh, <laughs> shows you the amount of voice chat length and that sort of thing. And uh, system level access, this app can integrate with your Mac system. Yeah, so it, it responds like that, that's cool. But also you have this little guy right here, which is awesome, right? So I could ask more questions about my chat. So if I compose a new chat, for example, I can hide this and I could have this in the corner. I can bring it back to the full, but I could have this in like the corner, for example, if I'm asking questions. So I think that's really nice. I could ask questions of it. Say I'm responding to an email or something or just ask it like general Googleable questions as I often do, which I don't know how great it is, but considering the fact that like Gemini, when I Google stuff, kind of show stuff, I, I, I don't know, no, maybe it's not 100% reliable. You gotta always check multiple sources, but I like the fact that I can just do this really quick if I like make it as small as I can. And what's the difference between Notion and Todoist? Also, by the way, turn that into text, pretty dope. And it gave me a good answer. I mean, I could say, <laughs> I'm making a video about chat GPT desktop right now. How do I make it better? Like obviously this is a really long response. Oh my goodness. I know language language models have gotten better, but really, I didn't need this much. I mean, honestly, this is an exhaustive explanation, but good, holy mother of God. Oh, start with a hook, make it a clear structure. These are none of the things I'm doing, but regardless, this is pretty much it. You, you just have the same thing, but downloadable. So I'm not gonna really milk the watch time on this anymore. You've seen all the things, you can have a side section, you can voice talk to it more functional in the sense that it loads better and those sort of things. Download it today if you have a Mac, yell at them for not doing it on Windows and watch this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.